Okay, good morning. Welcome to another edition of the Bare Bones. So, um, I want to apologize for not getting the video out last week. Uh, I'm working on an infantry video, and uh, it's taken a bit more time to gather what I'm hoping is pertinent footage to put together. And uh, so what I got this morning is a PB and J video, peanut butter and jam. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do our version of the Spanish Tertio, which, as you know, in history, the Spanish Tertio was... Uh, pikes, swords, and muskets, and we're going to use stalwarts, pikes, and pavis. My friend Alfarius here, he just uh, got himself a set of fortabracchios. They're sitting at about level 11 or 12, and so him and Lance are going to use their combination of stalwarts and fortabracchio pikes to protect my pavis. And uh, I love using my pavis because uh, my pavis have five epic crossbow doctrines on them. <clears throat> so... I mean, who doesn't want to use this? So essentially, I mean, chose pavis because over muskets because they, they have a tighter formation, which is more useful in CB, right? So, but I mean, five crossbow doctrines that are epic. Who wouldn't want to use that? So, without uh, without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in Harbor City, and uh, we've already gone through the whole first part of the siege, and I started it here because watching siege towers move is pretty boring. So we're going to use these guys offensively. We're going to try and get in and uh, push a little, make my, uh, allow my pavis to shoot, and this will make them either back away or try to take us out and run into the stalwarts and the pikes. Now, obviously, if they back away, we just sort of step forward. Mm. Coffee is so good. Okay, so we're going to let them take uh, take the top first before I bring the pavis up. They're just making sure everything's good to go, and as soon as they are, up I come. Now this is really Alfarius' first real uh, use of the pikes with another pair of units, so he's going to kind of learn as he goes. Now you notice I'm a little bit behind, and that's because I don't want to get caught in any uh, takedowns that they get caught in. And uh, at this point, I'm screaming at him, what are you doing? Don't be in a Shiltron. You're protecting the Vise now as well as Pike, so I mean, he can come back out. And I'm playing the musket, so that's a little bit of a, a zoom in. But, I mean, I, I love playing the musket because it adds that utility of being able to, like, drop Caltrops and, and the big grenade, right? So, And we're just going to start trying to push them... Uh, back. We're trying to take it, so we're going to block that staircase, we decide. So that no more reinforcements can get up. So I, I, I was trying to hit those guys down at the bottom, obviously, and then I backed off because of the, the archer was showing up. But I mean, he's he's standing out there like an idiot, and uh, he's got to back away because now my he's the only guy my pavis are shooting at, and he can't get really at, get at me because there's pikes in the way. And the guy obviously doesn't notice I'm shooting his unit up. So at this point, Lance just says, fuck it, let's take the bottom. So we're just, we're again, we're just going to push our way around the corner. We've already captured A now at this point. I do notice the enemy cavalry behind us, so I, I push forward to the Rattans and those in my own units, and I tell them, "Hey, there's cat coming in behind." So they flip the, the, uh, the pikes around. I'm getting ready to, to block that charge. Oh, here comes the paladins. Shield! 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 
Taste out steel! Units, assemble! Yes, Commander. Form close order! Black shield! Form shield! Units, assemble! Form close order! So I took a little bit of damage. You can see, so I'm going to go back and heal. Uh, and I, and during that fight, I, I, I have both the double shot. I have the double shot doctrine, and I'm using bat and bolts. So uh, <laughs> that really knocks people down. Especially if there's a, a hero, and I remember to pop the the stun and the bat and bolts. It'll knock him down enough for him to get shot. Now take position. Yes, commander. Black shield. Play now, take position. Stand together. Lock shield. Play now, spread out. Lock shield. Play now, shield. Lock together. Lock shield. Spread out. Shield wall. So again, we're just going to bully our, our way around this corner. Yes, commander. Lock shield. Ready, fight. Set up, and then we're just going to go right around. Now here's another thing, like this guy's at the end. <laughs> this is musket guy shows up or musket this this mortar guy shows up and he starts hammering that other end and I start hammering with my pavis. So they got no choice but to run away. Because they're not gonna get through the stalwarts and the and the pikes. So we hammer this corner or this this uh, alleyway and then we head around the corner. Take position. Now, I can usually take out a yeah, there it is. I can usually take out a, a piece of artillery with my, my, my main grenade. I've got level 3 of it. So sometimes I'll risk that. Now again, we're going to start forcing this corner here. So they've just extended the line. I just came in behind them. And we're just going to swing like a door around that corner. We're just going to keep pushing it around. I'm already at 72 kills with these. Unfortunately... Um, Unless they make a, a, an attack on us, the stalwarts and the and the uh, pikes don't get a lot of kills, but it is still fun because of the teamwork aspect of it. Again, we're just pushing out, stopping, shooting. I like being able to play the musket during these kinds of things because it's such a such a utilitarian uh, uh, weapon, you know. And of course, Lance and Alfarius both play, play long swords, so they can just keep on healing. Right? Look at this guy coming in, right into the stalwarts. They they made the choice. They couldn't they couldn't uh, they couldn't sit there and take it, so they had to come and try and take us out. But one hundred and twenty-one kills now with the Pavis so far. And I'm going to take out another. Another piece of artillery. Now I've got the extra 25% uh, to ammo doctrine, which definitely helps in these sorts of situations. So look how we cleared this. So. We're going to push up. Now I do try and lock in a little bit to the right so that I can get the, the benefit of these uh, these dragon teeth or whatever these things are. And we're hammering them. The enemy captured the point. 
I love that motorman being so aggressive with his with his gunners there. But I guess he, you know if you're if you're playing a, a fragile unit like that, and you see you know pikes and and stalwarts working together, you know absolutely trail along behind them. You know support them. Now, I had set my uh, pavis back for ammo because they're out. Now I'm just heading back to, to make sure they don't get uh, ambushed on the way. Or I thought I was. Hang on. I know I do. Well, Lancer and uh, Alferis got wiped. But the good news is they have another set. So they'll go pull... Uh, Lancer will pull his bikes and uh, Alferis will pull his stalls. And now my uh, Pavis are rearmed and healed, and we'll be coming right back at him again for for a second edition of this. Okay, so we're meeting at the corner again. Going to do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. I love those paladins. So again, this is where we uh, bully the corner, right? They move up, they drop. Let my uh, police work. Obviously, these archers are helping, but who cares about those guys? Figured I better take out that big flipping motor over there before we tank him around the corner. See my, my rounds going over my head there. The boys taking da uh, giving damage out. I don't even bother to move them up now. There's no point. I just leave them back there shooting. But this is you know you you'd think that these these defensive units would be good on the defense, but they're actually better on the attack when you when you muscle like this because you know there's no possibility of you getting trebucheted. So you can you can do this sort of walking advance thing, whereas if you try that kind of in a defense, somebody's going to drop a trebuchet on you. There we go. So I got a superior, but I was actually kind of put out that I was way down the line. <laughs> I said, wait, what? I'm only seventh or six, whatever the hell I was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But, uh, you know, I got over 159 kills there. It uh, did really well. So thanks for watching, and I'll try and get that infantry video out. Cheers. <laughs>